Okay, so for this one, for this video, I'm going to be showing how to RNG manipulate for shiny eggs in Pokemon Platinum. So, first thing, let's get some of the prerequisites. Let's file, open ROM, Platinum, uh, and you're going to want to go to Tools, Lua Scripting, and then load in this Lua Script. Should be in the, link should be in the description. Uh, and then also make sure you have Lua51.dll installed. I have another video on that. Uh, but yeah, so we're going to do this. And first thing we need to do here is observe our TID and SID. So from this, let's open up PokeFinder. On PokeFinder, we want to go to Gen 4 and we want to go to Egg. That will open up this, which I already have a profile. But if you don't have a profile, I'll show you what you do. So you go to Manager, New, and then put in Platinum because we're doing this for Platinum. This probably, if I had to guess, this probably works. Uh, the same way it does on Platinum for Diamond and Pearl, but don't quote me on that. So, Platinum, and then I would input my TID, which is 483, or yeah, 48734, so 48734, and 23216, and then you put that for SID, and you can name it whatever, it doesn't matter, but, and once you create the profile, make sure you have selected it because I don't think it always does it correctly. Uh, first thing we want to do, we want to do held advances. We want that to be between, uh, let's say zero and ten. You can do, you can make it as high as you want. It's just take. It's just gonna take longer. So I, I'm doing between zero and ten, and then for pickup advances, uh, I would say, eh, for the bottom one, I. Th your minimum pickup advances should be like maybe 20 or something. Uh, you can have it however high, but you're just going to have to wait longer. I, for this, I'm going to put it at like, uh, let's say, 30. Now, that it looks like it doesn't give a lot of room, but I think it still does. Just in case, we'll do 35. So, let's go back to the game real quick. We can minimize that. because we need to get some prerequisites laid out for the actual game. So you need to be inside this house. Actually, you might not need to, but I would just be in here. Uh, well, you gotta be in here anyways to deposit your Pokemon. So, uh, you gonna gotta deposit two Pokemon. I have, I'm going to be trying to breed for a shiny Badoo. Uh, this Roselia is holding the incense. So, and I already have a Ditto in there. Uh, you also need to make sure that you have a chat out because you're going to need to use, uh, you're going to have to use him to advance the frames. Uh, to show how exactly you do that, you need to make sure you have a chatter recorded. So I'm just going to record one real quick. You don't even have to actually say anything, uh, as long as it has a chatter. Uh, so now it has that. If we open up and pay attention to the frame counter down here. If we go to Chatot and we open his summary, the frame advances by one. So make sure you have a Chatot. Uh, now, let's just go here. And we're going to put our Roselia in. So, Roselia. Come back for it later. Okay, now we're just going to save our game. Oh, and you also need to make sure that you have the Poke, the Poketch app for flipping a coin. Uh, without that, you can't do this whole thing. So, without Chatot and without the Poketch uh, coin flip game, can't do this. So, make sure you go get those. They're not hot, hard to get. So, now that we've saved, we can close out of this, minimize this, and we need to open up PK Hex, which is a save editor and will let us view our save. So, go to Open, and then you want to go to where your Desmoom is installed and go to battery and then you'll have your saves so open up platinum uh you can see i've already been doing some other rng manipulation with shinies and we're going to want to go to other and this is where we can see the stats of our pokemon because we need to enter these so let's move this to the side we need to bring back up gen 4 eggs and so let's click on ditto uh he's our he's the first one so we have, he's parent a so select that as gender as ditto Go to stats, and we just enter them uh, one by one. So, 11 HP, 
uh, 30, 30 attack, 27 defense, uh, 8 special attack, 31 special defense, oh wait, that was already at max, and 11 speed. And then we want to go to Roselia and do the same thing, but for parent B. So Roselia is female, so we change this to female, and then we go to stats, so 25 HP, attack is 3, defense is 21, special attack is 26, uh, special defense is 9, speed is 28. And then obviously we want to change this to be Badoo instead of Bulbasaur, which is the default, because we're going for Badoo. Uh, then we're just going to set Shiny to Star Square, and from here we can search. So let's search, and we're given tons of options already. So I'm going to scroll through. Uh, let's go this one. So held advances for pickup advances 28. Okay, works out. Or it should work out at least. So generate time. You right click and hit generate times for seed. And it will pull up this window. So from here we need to enter this into our into another program called uh let me open it real quick. Uh is it gonna open? Oh there it is. Run as date. This is also in the description for you to download. Uh and we just need to input this time. So I already have a similar looking time because I was testing this out, but let's just, re I'm a, for this example, I'll just reset these to like 2000 and then I'll type it all in. So, 0528, okay, 528, and then 2024, 2024, and then time, 3, uh, 57, 59, okay. Uh, and this is in military time, by the way. So 3 is 3 in the morning. Uh, if you see something that's like 13, that's 1 in the afternoon. Uh, but yeah. So 3. Uh, everything lines up. Make sure you have move the time forward according to real time off. And application to run. Hit browse. And you want to set it to run. Go, like, go to your uh, installation folder for Desmoom and you want to make sure this is the exe it runs so now that we have that we can hit run file open rom platinum tools lua scripting and then we run our that same lua script uh there's still more to do though so what we want to do is we need to hit the delay at 1352 so what we're going to do we're going to get to this screen, create a save state, and now we just wait. Oh, oh, wow, look at that. I paused it right on time. So from here, you just hold down the A button, and then press Control and P to unpause. And let's see if I got it. 0, 0, 0, 3, 0, 5, 6, 0. 3, 0, 5, 6, 0. Yep, lines up. So I did hit it this time, but that's not always a guarantee because even if you if you hit it on the exact frame, I'm reloading my save state to show you, uh, there's a possibility you'll get like the seed r right after. And the way you fix that is you go to, you hit new game and then you back out and then you go right back here and then you try to hit it on 1352. So I'm just going to do that. I'm going to miss it because my other one was correct, but you'll see. So 1352. A control P and I hit three zero five six one so if this is a scenario you're in and you want to hit three zero five six zero you would just go back and do uh, the new game back and then do it all over again that basically just swaps you between these two little settings I'm not sure why it works that way but if you if your delay if you hit the uh, thing on the delay and it doesn't give you the right seed do that little trick and it should fix it but now let's Reload this so I can get back to my correct save. Okay, 1352. Okay, 30560. 30, oh, 30560. And we can just do whatever with that. You can click through it if you want. That doesn't matter. But now we can, we don't need a close out of this because we're going to need this in a second. But 
we're going for this one, 4, 28. So, this 4 represents how many times we need to flip this coin. So, and it doesn't really keep track of this on using using the Lewis script, so you have to keep like a mental note. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, now all we have to do is just get the egg to generate. So, that's just as simple as walking back and forth and, and waiting until the old man does his thing. So, uh, yeah, you're probably about to see some sped up footage of me waiting for the egg to hatch. Okay, and it's generated. And I did turn my Lewis script off, but... Uh, you don't need to do that. I just did that because I'm not sure if it's a me thing, but whenever my Lewis script is on, I'm not able to use speed up. Uh, but it'll be fine for now. So, now that it's generated, you want to get right up in front of them. Uh, save your game. Save. Uh, okay, game is saved. And now we want to restart. So, you can just do Control R, and that should reload it. And if you did disable your Lewis script like I did, make sure you turn it back on. Uh, and now we have to do the same process we did the first time and try and hit 1352. So let's do that. Okay. 1352. Control A or no A Control P. 30560 30560. Okay. And okay, so you want to open your menu as soon as possible because you don't want these frames advancing. You want this to stay as low as possible while doing this. So as soon as you can send an input through, you want to. I got lucky and then only five frames advanced, but now we move on to the next step, which is, let me pull it back up, Poke Finder, uh, pickup advances. So we want, we need, for this specific one, I mean, there's plenty to choose from, but I'm doing this specific one with this specific stats just to show you how it works, pretty much. I don't have an actual reason. So 28 pickup advances. So what we need to do is go back to Pokemon, go to our party, go to Chatot, and we need to advance frames until frame is equal to 28. So I'm going to do that now. Okay, now we're only one frame away. So, let's advance. 28. And I recommend creating a save state for this next part. So, we're back on this menu. Create a save state, just to be safe. And I think I mentioned this in another video, but this UI stays up like all the time whenever you're using the Lewis script. Uh, don't know why, but it's just a visual thing. It doesn't impact any of your gameplay or like the legitimacy of your Pokemon or anything but yeah so frame 28 create a save state right here at the correct frame uh, and what we want to do is we want to exit out of this menu and talk to him as soon as possible so because we don't want any frames to advance and no frames advance while we're on this menu but as soon as we unpause uh, frames could start advancing so we don't want to allow them time to advance so I'm gonna back out okay see I messed it up there I so now we reload the save state and okay that time I got it so we just I mean you can't really see the dialogue but that's not important because as long as we're talking to him on frame 28 which is the frame we're aiming for we can receive the Pokemon and I think uh, there we go now we can just save our game uh, okay there we go and we can close out of this uh, we'll open it back up in a second, but the reason we're closing out is because I want to show you in uh, PK Hex. So we're going to open our save back up, and you will see we have a shiny Badoo. But not only is it shiny, it's also the exact stats we are aiming for. Uh, in testing before this video, I found out that the only thing that really matters, at least, but I only did this like two times, so that's not a good sample size. But in the times I tried before this, it was really only the held advances that mattered that, that determined whether or not you got a shiny. But if you wanted to make sure you got the specific uh, IVs, you had to do the pickup advances. 
Either way, I'd recommend doing pickup advances anyways, because I'm not too sure on the whole, you can pick it up whenever as long as you're on the right held advance. Uh, don't do that. <laughs> I don't know if that's going to work. So, but here it is. Uh, the met date does say 1-1-2000, so, but I think that's the default for all eggs. So what we're going to do is we're going to open back up the game, and I'm going to do... Uh, you're about to see some sped up footage of me trying to hatch the egg so that we can see if the data is correct and all that and whatnot. You get it. Okay. Uh, just real quick, I'm taking uh, my Pokemon out of the daycare center just because I don't want another one to spawn. Uh, that This isn't important to the actual RNG thing. I just thought I'd mention it so that no one was questioning why I did that in the footage. Uh, but yeah, uh, other than that, back to hatching. Okay, so now, <clears throat> now that our egg is hatching, and you'll see it's shiny. I mean, you probably already know that because we literally looked in the save file, but just to you know, reconfirm it. Here's our shiny Badoo. Uh, come on. Get off my screen. Uh, would I like to nickname it? Nah. Okay. So from here, let's save the game. Okay, game is saved. And let's go check back in PK Hex. So let's open the save file up again. Go here. Stats are all still all the same. And the met date is fixed. And it's now set to today. So, it doesn't matter what date it is whenever you receive the egg, it just matters that you hatch it on, uh, it just matters that you hatch it on the current time for the date to be correct. And if your date is incorrect, like, let's mess it up real quick, so 11-11, if, uh, if the date is incorrect, if your met date is incorrect, just click this calendar, and then click this, and then it'll set it to today's current date, and you can just drag it here to override your other one, and then, yeah. And then from there you can just do file, export, save, save it, and then, uh, yeah. But that's pretty much all there is to uh, egg RNG and platinum. Uh, I think it's the same for diamond and pearl. Uh, don't quote me on that. Uh, hope this helped.